Hola a todos. Hola a todos y a todas. Somos Adrián y Adela. Hola. Los chicos de la tienda que no les he nombrado. Bueno, preguntaros, aunque hace dos días hicimos otro directo, eh, preguntaros qué tal estáis, cómo estáis, cómo lo estáis llevando esto. Y para haceros más o menos el, el confinamiento, pues intentamos hacer entrevistas con actores de, de Harry Potter y en, a ver, intentaremos también con algunos de Animales Fantásticos, a ver si, si, si se ponen en contacto con nosotros y nos, nos dan el ok. Y nada, esta, esta entrevista que vamos a hacer hoy va a ser con Sally Mockmore, que es la, Madame Pins, eh, eh, sale en la cámara secreta Harry Potter y la cámara secreta de la bibliotecaria bruja y bibliotecaria de, de Hogwarts. Y bueno, es un personaje que, que es breve, pero yo creo que os va a gustar. La entrevista va a ser en inglés, la va a llevar Adela, que es la experta en, en, en este tema. Y, y después resumiremos un poquito al final. al final. Así que bueno, intentaremos ahora a ver si nos comunicamos con ella. Y, y nada, en breve... Nos ponemos... Sí, es sí. Y en breve empezaremos a ver si, si, si sale. Y intentaremos que no haya desconexiones como la anterior. ¡Ay, Sally! 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 Es un dog too. Oh. Yeah, I'll show you. Come here, Cookie. Come here. Come here. It's a Spanish cocker. A Spanish cocker. Yeah. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> yeah. She's 12 years old. 12? Oh, wow. 12. Oh. She doesn't look it. Are, 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 a few, most people are doing what they're told, 
but some people aren't obeying the rules and so they might come down even stricter here. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, yeah. my cat as well. in the agency then and um he said you've got the job and i screamed and then i went yeah, but when do they want me and they went it's all okay it's all sorted they did want you in november but they know you're rehearsing for the snow queen so they're going to start you at the end of january and i just couldn't believe it really yeah fantastic yeah yeah incredible <laughs> right did you have uh do you have uh, have any any memories making to making the film? Any, any memories? good memories? Any, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when the, we were um, shooting at Gloucester Cathedral, and when you're when you're on location, well, when you're doing a shoot anyway, you're you're given um, the sides of the scene that you're doing. So a script is an A4, but the sides are much smaller. So you can put, keep them in your pocket. And if you think, oh, I can't remember what that line is, you can take it out and have a quick look and then put them back in again. So I had my sides for, for the scene that we were doing one day. But I was also, t I'd also taken my patchwork with me to do, <laughs> take up time. And um, it's the English paper piecing uh, patchwork. So you cut out templates from paper. So I'm cutting out templates for the patchwork. And then I realised I've cut up my call sheet for the next day. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't know what to do. And I thought, I, everybody's famous apart from me. I'm in the hotel with just them and me and the producer. What am I going to do? And then David Bradley walked in. And uh, he's such a lovely man. And I said to him, I don't know what my call time is for tomorrow. Um, I've cut everything up. I've cut my side. I've cut my call sheet up for my patchwork quilt and he was so kind he was just so kind he said don't worry have a look at mine have it take it it's fine <laughs> all was well yeah <laughs> the next one is uh, the costume in madame pince uh, was incredible can you tell us anything special about the costume uh, well the dress was made out of feathers real feathers but the front, it was only the front piece. Uh, the back of it was just plain fabric because I had that huge um, cloak to put on. And the cloak, it took about three people to actually heave it onto me because it was so heavy. And the hat, apparently, I, I haven't been there myself, but apparently it's at Leavesden at the Harry Potter experiment. Uh, yeah. It's a really special hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, the hat. It's very yeah, good. incredible. Oh, yeah. and one thing. Um, we weren't supposed to take anything. Um, but I've got my shoes. So you must have my shoes. But that's <laughs> <laughs> you got them well away. Uh, yeah. You got them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
How do you feel now being part of the magical world? You're somebody, uh, you know, had a, a role in Harry Potter. How do you feel being part of that magic world? It's extraordinary. Um, I think it's extraordinary how everything has just taken off so completely. Because when I, when I did Chamber of Secrets, the first film uh, hadn't come out. Uh, or had it, or, or it had come, it hadn't come out when I went to the casting for it. So it must have come out while we were filming. I, I can't remember, it's such a long time ago. So nobody knew how big everything was going to be at all. Um, and then it just went bananas. And so it is truly amazing to be a part of it. I'm, yeah, I'm, yes. I'm very happy to have been a part of it. You're very lucky. Yeah, very lucky. And also the two things that have come out of it afterwards, like uh, the mystery game, Hogwarts mystery game, where yes. I'm Madam Pin, and Beadle the Bard, the audio book, which has literally just been released. I read the yes. action to it. So. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> Are you a, a fan of Fantastic Beast? Am I? Do you know I haven't seen any of them? Not as, <laughs> Not as yet, but I will. I promise I will, because I know I'll, I'll love them. Yes, <laughs> you will. I've got a Niffler. You got? I've got, I've got a Niffler. Yeah? Yeah. Can you sat, yeah. Oh, where is it? Oh, he's just sat over there. A Niffler. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he said, would you like to be part of it, a fantastic piece, if they called you? Oh, absolutely. Yes. It's so up my street. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. I might be too old to become back as Madame Pince, though. I don't know. Well, you could have another paper of somebody else, yes. somebody new. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, where, do you, in the, uh, where do you feel most comfortable, acting for TV, on theatre? Uh, for movies, oh, I feel I feel comfortable in all in everything. Everything is so different. I mean, theatre is very different to film. It's very different to TV. TV is different to film. I just love all of it, really, and audio, everything. I just love being an actor. Uh, we know you belong to another series. Like Games of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, tell us about your experience. Uh, it was an extraordinary experience. Um, in fact, a lot of memories of Harry Potter came back when I want, went on to location because we were in Girona. Uh -huh. I, was, I was filming in Girona. And, um, but, but I didn't know because everything was secret. So I was flown um, to Barcelona. And then a car picked me up at, from the airport. But I didn't know where we were going. They said that it was an hour out of Barcelona Airport. But, yeah, weren't told where. Well, I wasn't given the name of the hotel or anything. And, um, yeah, we landed up in Girona in a lovely mm -hmm. hotel. Um, and then the first day that we were out there, so we arrived, stayed that night, and then the next day we, didn't, we weren't shooting. So... I walked around the medieval city, which, how beautiful is that? Yes. Uh, oh, my, oh, wow. What an amazing day. Um, because I was working with Kate, and she's famous here for Coronation Street. And we were sort of doing a sort of double act thing in it. Um, so we went and just walked around Girona together. We had something to eat. Then we had another bit of a walkabout. Uh, went back to the hotel, had dinner in the evening with the rest of the cast. Um, and then started filming the next day. And that's, that's when it all went a bit bananas with security. Because we were filming outside in an amphitheatre. There was so much security and there were helicopters flying over the top so that people couldn't take any photographs. Uh, Unit Bass was in the middle of a forest so that the trees grew over the top of the uh, caravans so that, again, yeah. nobody could take any photos. You take, yeah, not to see anything. Yeah. Wow. Did so you have good weather? It was so hot and I felt hot. so <laughs> sorry for the crew because they were just bitten to smithereens by midges. Their le their, because they'd been scratching them, their legs were bleeding. So, that, yeah, that was... That was but then 
when it came out, all, uh, all our lines, Kate and my lines, they, they had been cut because the whole thing was a little subsidiary plot. Um, we were watching the theatre play that was going on with Richard E. Grant. And we were supposed to be making these comments about how lewd it was and all that. Um, and Kate was cast because she looked like a woman in America who had said something like, oh, I'm so over Game of Thrones. And they got a bit cross. The writers, I think, got a little bit, you know, and thought, well, let's have somebody who looks like her being a bit nasty about the play. Um, yeah. But they had meetings every evening. And I don't think things were working out as they wanted it to. Um, but we shot it. And then when it came out, you realise, oh, so it obviously didn't work. We're still there. But, yeah, all the stuff, all the lines went. But I'm glad it was Kate's lines as well, not just mine. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose it'd be more than one. Yeah, yeah it was just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us about your next projects, things you're doing or preparing? Um, I did a film a couple of years ago called The Silence After Life. Uh, it's a... I don't know how to say the story. It's my character, um, her partner is killed in an accident and it's about her grieving so it's it's heavy it really is heavy and it was written for me um and it's do well what happens now we're all in lockdown i don't know but it's supposed to be being shown at the brighton film festival and it's just been accepted at the ramsgate film festival so whether that will go online as a festival or not i don't know um so that's happening um, and then I did a show 2018 at the Edinburgh Festival called The Marilyn Conspiracy about Marilyn Monroe and her death as to whether it was suicide or murder. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I play her housekeeper, Mrs. Murray. And we're hoping, touch wood, that's wood, touch wood, yeah, um, that it's going to transfer to the West End whenever the West End reopens yeah. again because everything's shut at the moment, so. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, but one terrible thing was that literally the day before we were doing a, a, a rehearsed reading of the whole thing, a stage reading, um, for some big producers from the West End, and that was on the Wednesday. The Monday prior to that was when I broke my leg. Oh, so they had to get somebody else in to read Mrs. Murray. But I have been told the part is mine, so that's okay. Oh, that's, my, that's, that's my neighbour. I'm taking you with me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. No, don't worry. You've never seen that. Well, it would make a difference. Um, that's good, that's good, that's good. Hang on, Gretchen. I'll, I'll get my neighbour to say hello to you. No, Russell? Russell? Say hello. 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 Hi. Hi. That's my neighbour Russell, been? who's been so kind in taking Groucho for a walk. Um, massive dog sat at the side of the sort of towpath and um, the owners came and grabbed him. I'd stopped and the owners grabbed him so I thought it's okay to carry on walking so I, I carried on walking with Groucho and this dog suddenly appeared and just ran at us and it was a big dog and it put all its weight into my leg and pushed my leg 
backwards. So my knee went the way oh. it was supposed to go and massive pain and I fell to the ground. Um, and the guy came up and said, are you okay? I went, no, it really, really hurts. Can you get up? No, I don't think I can. And he went, oh, I'm so sick and tired of this dog. And he walked off. And Nothing. Then, yeah, he left me on the ground. Um, and then a, a jogger was running by and she stopped and she said, do you need some help? I said, please. She said, can you get up? I said, no, I can't. So she called for an ambulance, but they were going to be about three and a half hours. And, I, and it was dark. And um, she was very kind. She went and got her car. Then two other people stopped to help. And they managed to get me to her car and they brought me home. And then the next day, I knew I had to go to casualty. So uh, Russell's partner came with me to the hospital and stayed with me. And that's when they said that I've got a... A whole piece of my tib tibial plateau has been completely smashed. Um, so that's oh, why my oh. knee was sliding out. Um, so I had to stay in and have an operation, to, and they put a plate, screwed a plate in to hold my knee together. Oh, and have you got for a long time? The plate's going to be in forever. Forever? Yeah, the plate's got to be there forever. Um, and they said I'll probably need a, a knee replacement in probably about 10 years. God. So, again. Okay. And how long have you got to stay resting? A long time? Indoors? Um, well, indoors for however long the virus makes us stay here. Um, I've got another two weeks of the healing process. Um, but I'm supposed to go to the trauma clinic on the 24th, but it's at St George's, and St George's is overrun with um, people with virus. So I think it'll be a, a phone conversation. Um, I've read online that this sort of fracture can take anything from three to six months to heal. I'm hoping three months. Yes. Yes, well, we hope so, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But because I've got... Because I've got a plate in, I didn't need a plaster. So, uh, so you can wait there. So, and that's supposed to help with the bone. If the bone is supposed to knit better or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the technical things, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over my head. <laughs> uh, have you ever met uh, J.K. Rowling? No, I haven't. Um, no? No, I thought she was going to be, you know, on set a lot of the time, but she wasn't. So, no, I haven't, um, which is sad. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can not Yeah? No. Uh, have you read the Harry Potter books before the film or after? I didn't read them before. Uh, I purposely didn't read them before because so often when when... You have an adaptation of a of a book for a film. For a film, it ha has its own identity. So, I wanted to be able to portray the character as was required within the film, rather than have it have it influenced by the book. By the book, yeah. Does that make? And have you read them after the film? Did yeah, you read them? I've, yeah, I have read them. Yes, and I've seen the films as well. Yeah, and do you prefer the films or the books? Their story, or they're, they're, they're both as good as each other, as, yeah, yeah, because they're, they're yeah. different. So, the, the books are great, the films are great because they're different, they're not the same. You see what I mean? They're not the same, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, that's all the questions we had. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, if we get few more questions another day we'll talk to you we'll text you oh okay, if you want to do it another day yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh it's been so nice thank you very much yes yes and okay. if any time you come to spain to la coruña you can come and see our shop oh i'd love to i'd love to where it, which city is it in uh, la, Car la coruña uh, north of spain oh right okay the north galicia next to portugal the, oh right okay that's a deal yes we've got absolutely the heavy deal yes so we hope to see you there 
Oh, how, thank you so much for asking me to do this. Yes, thank you for helping us, yes. yes. And, and you've been very kind and a pleasure of meeting you. <laughs> oh, thank you, and a pleasure meeting you too. And gosh, I can't imagine you still there until the 11th of May. And see if there's not more time. Yeah. We don't know, because there's been a lot of deaths and... It's been bad with you, hasn't mm. it? Yes. And the government wasn't prepared. I feel I think they're still not prepared. But oh, really? you just have to sit and wait. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm sending lots and lots of love to both of you. Thank you. Um, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And to your little dog, too. Yes. <laughs> and to your dog. It's actually quiet now. He's gone for a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until he comes back. <laughs> yes. But then he'll be all right, you see, because I'll be able to talk to him then, and he'll be fine. He gets, just gets to... You build attention for him, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Right, well, thank you very much, and we'll talk another day. Yeah, thank you. Oh, please, yeah. that would be lovely. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, and take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.
Eh, le preguntamos también dónde se siente se siente más cómoda al, al trabajar, en dónde es, se desenvuelve mejor, más eh, porque ella es actriz de teatro, de cine y de, y de televisión. Y nos preguntó, nos dijo que... Que los tres son muy diferentes, pero que le gustan los tres, que no podría elegir uno. Y como no iba a faltar tampoco, sabíamos que había hecho un, un capítulo de una de las series que a mí también me gusta, que es Juego de Tronos, porque preguntamos sobre ella, que, que, que tal fue la experiencia en, en, en Juego de Tronos, nos contó que estuvo filmando en, en Girona, Girona eh, por uh -huh. Cataluña. Que era todo secreto, eh, solo sabía que iba a coger un vuelo a Barcelona, que en Barcelona la recogerían y no sabía nada más, ni qué hotel, ni a dónde iba, ni nada. Y que cuando llegó al aeropuerto la recogieron, estuvo una hora en el coche, la llevaron a Girona, eh, el primer día que estaban allí no iban a grabar y se fue ella y una vez Covenation Street, Covenation una serie de Inglaterra sí. y estuvieron todo por Girona y dijo que era precioso, un tiempo fantástico y que le gustó mucho y al día siguiente cuando fueron a grabar eh, estaba todo mmm, con policías, helicópteros pasando, todo cubierto, incluso ponían árboles para que la gente no pudiera sacar ninguna foto del rodaje ni nada, todo súper secreto que le alucinó un poco todo lo el secretismo que rodeaba a la, serie. a la serie y que ella tenía más guión y su compañera también con la que fue pero que al final bueno por unas cosas les van quitando frases recortan y bueno al final se quedó en, en, lo que quedó. en un pequeño en un pequeño episodio pero bueno está ahí está ahí y le preguntamos por último su bueno su sus proyectos, sus próximos proyectos que, que iban a consistir o que estaba haciendo. Acababa de grabar una película, a ver si ahora cuando acabe todo esto se produce, no sabe si va a ser online o cómo va a ser, y luego hizo eh, como una serie sobre Marilyn Monroe y su padre. Ella sería la ama de llaves de la casa de Marilyn. Eh, no nos dijo nada más, pero bueno, que se baraja que pueda salir en el West End, en el teatro, en Londres, uh -huh. en un teatro. Y nada, nos, nos comentó que tuvieran mucho amor, que nos cuidáramos. Que nos cuidáramos mucho, que le parece increíble que llevemos 27 días encerrados. Que, que bueno, que las perspectivas que, que tan largas, que a lo mejor hasta mayo seguimos aquí en, en cuarentena. Ahora estamos en marzo. Pero bueno, eh, esperemos que, que esto no ocurra. Y salgamos pronto. La verdad, pero si esto ocurre, pues intentaremos traeros a más, a más eh, eh, actores. Para de que, Harry bueno, Potter y de animales Para que los conozcáis, que conozcáis un poco su trayectoria, lo que están haciendo y lo que van a hacer. Y que os sea más ameno el confinamiento. Que para sí. nosotros es, nos entretenemos un poco y esperamos eh, entreteneros a vosotros. Y así también vais viendo los personajes. Sí, tenemos ya otro otro en vistas, ya en breve lo comunicaremos y nada, espero que os guste. En español también. ¿eh? Intentaremos eh, español? Que traer, traer algo en español para poder yo desenvolverme un poco. <risa> un beso, cuidaros. Un beso. Y sabéis y que a las 8, aplaudir. Chao. Chao.